This is the seaside town of Bournemouth, where locals and tourists flock to enjoy the sun and while away the hours on the rides and amusements. Paul and Jess have set up their own stall, offering amazing prizes from games consoles to widescreen TVs. This is the Razzle Dazzle. Paul starts touting for business. All right, guys, come and play. It's just a game. We don't buy. You get two free rolls. It's really simple. It's two pound a roll. I'll give you two to start. You win any of the prizes that you see here today. When you roll, whatever score you get, yep. we'll make points. So if okay. you roll a 41, you get a point and a half, like that. If you get 10 points, you win anything that you like. But today, it's two pound a roll. Go for right. it. It's just rolling out, right? That's it. The game is simple. There's a cup with eight marbles. The player throws the marbles onto a board with lots of holes, each one randomly numbered between one and six. Paul adds up the total and compares it to a scorecard to find out how many prize points they've made. All the player has to do is win 10 prize points for a fantastic jackpot. So you've got eight yeah. plus six is 14, yeah. plus nine, 23, 25, 29, 32. Now, 32 doesn't win anything. I'll give you another roll. Go for it. Now, you have a look over here, you'll see the points that you want to get. Okay, so that's uh, 35 plus 4. 39. 39 plus 5, 44. So, 44 is 5 points. You're already halfway there. That's lucky, to be honest. That's really lucky to get so far so, so that fast. Stay if I've got another two pounds. Absolutely. If you yeah. keep playing, your points are good. As soon as you walk away, you lose. Here. What do you want to play for? Well, that's five plays. We'll give you change back if you win ahead of time. Yeah. So what do you want to play for? Yes, free. You want to go for the games console? Yeah. He's playing for this, a top-of-the-range games console. Go for it. Roll. A whole load of zeros, but then... 39, right? Half a point. Half a point. You know, half a point up. I think you should keep playing. The only way you can lose is to walk away. That's another ten pounds. Yes, go for it. You got another five. Go for it. Let's go. Come on, buddy. You can do it. And now we got nine. Twenty-two. That's twenty-nine. No points again, but that's the magic number. Oh yeah. yeah. The twenty-nine does not add points. Right. It does add prizes. It does double, so it's four pound a roll after that. But you're playing for any two prizes you like on the stand. Okay, so currently you're playing for that. Yeah. Pick any other prize you like on the stand. The TV, <laughs> go for the TV, TV and that. Okay. The mark is now playing for the games console and a widescreen TV, but it now costs four pounds a throw. Thirty, nothing for thirty. Another four pound if you want to play. Come on, look at what you're playing for. You get five plays for that. Let him spend it. Forty-one. There it is. One and a half. So that brings you up to seven. You've got to pay a game if you want to play. Let me tell you something, it usually takes somebody a lot longer to make five points. You make five points like that. Look at what you're going to win, really. That's true. The mark has already spent 40 pounds, but by the sound of it, he'd be mad to quit now. <laughs> Actually, the only mad thing is that he's playing this game in the first place. And here's why. This is the granddaddy of all carnival games and is the most crooked game you've ever seen. Because your chances of actually getting 10 points are completely nil. So it works like this. You throw the, the marbles into the box and then we add up all the numbers to see what the total is. So that gives you 44. And what do you get for 44? Five points. And you're halfway to winning your prize. The problem is, is it didn't add up to 44. In fact, it added up to something low, something around 27. But what I do is I miscount when I want to give you points and keep you interested in the game. If I don't do that, you actually make nothing on every single roll. But the psychology gets better because the prizes increase. For example, if you hit 29, that's actually one of the most common numbers you can get with a game. When you hit 29, they add a prize. However, you also have to double your investment. So even if you start playing for two pounds, suddenly you're playing for much more. And I keep doing this until I've got all the money in your wallet. The Razzle is designed to be confusing. That's why there are so many marbles and so many tiny numbers. 
no matter where the marbles land, the chances of making a winning total are astronomical. The total will almost always equal zero points, or 29 to add another prize that they'll never win.